And tomorrow is a big day for the bank, although perhaps not as big as some people are hoping. It'll be announcing its latest decision on interest rates. CTV's Tony Grace is standing by in the national newsroom here on what we are expecting to hear, what some people want to hear, but what they may not hear, Tony. Right, and Todd, a lot of people were thinking this would be the time where we would start to see interest rates dropping. We were getting those signals toward the end of last year. The signals now, though, most economists are expecting uh, a rate freeze tomorrow, expecting the Bank of Canada to keep that central rate at 5%, that key rate that is tied to everything from variable rate loans to mortgages. So there it is. It's been there since the last rate decision last month. But broadly, that 5% has been in place since July of last year. And you have to go farther back than that. You have to go back to 2022. If we bring up the next chart, you can see when, when the rate was last at 2.5%. So it's been steadily going up ever since. And the reason the Bank of Canada gave was to try to tamp down inflation, to try to cool spending in this country. Unfortunately, for many people with variable rate mortgages, it's also meant uh, payments that they have not been able to meet, and for businesses and their loans as well. So lots of folks expecting, uh, looking forward to the rate coming down, but Todd, the signals are from many economists that it's not going to happen tomorrow. They believe the bank wants to be more sure that inflation is on a stable path to stay within that 1% to 3% that the Bank of Canada feels is a comfortable range. All right, and we know lots of different analysts with their uh, crystal balls trying to figure out exactly when the rates may come down. Tony, any sort of consensus or agreement on that? You know, 38 economists who were polled by the Reuters news agency, 27 of them thought June was going to be the time. Uh, another seven or eight th thought that it was July, and then the remaining few thought it was going to be September. So we can look to early summer as the time frame that most people are saying is most likely to see that rate start to drop, probably just by a little bit, though. And, Todd, next week we have a day where there are two big things happening that could play into the bank's decision. The federal budget and the next inflation numbers. Those are both coming out one week from today. So perhaps that could give us some signals and could give the bank some signals on when to drop and by how much. But the consensus is it's not going to be tomorrow, Todd. There's a lot of concern too, Tony, about government spending, which can mm -hmm. be, of course, a, a trigger for more inflation. Mm -hmm. And the Trudeau government has already announced, Tony, you know, uh, billions and billions and billions of dollars uh, in money for housing, money for the Canadian military. Today was money for mental health for young people. And we are expecting just to see, you know, a flurry of announcements the rest of this week. You know, this is a political strategy, right, to try and tease it out, show Canadians that they understand the problems people are facing. They're not doing well in the polls. But all that spending can also have an unintended consequence on inflation. Certainly. And, and as can... You know, it's funny, Todd, because one of the things that's driving inflation as well, not only that, is, is those higher mortgage interest rates as well. So the Bank of Canada, you know, saying that it tries to look to those key factors, those core factors, like, like the costs of food. Where was that versus a year ago? Gas, shelter. But again, it is uh, a result of those higher monetary policies, those higher interest rates and government spending. And you're right. Typically, we don't see this many government spending announcements ahead of a budget. Obviously, the government in tune with, uh, with the, the whole theme of, of affordability here and wanting to get that out in front of the public, that being a political strategy. We'll see what else comes out in the next week or so and what doesn't come out, what they save for Budget Day next Tuesday, and see if that leads the bank in any particular direction, Todd. All right, CTV's Tony Grace with the latest there. Uh, we'll be watching that decision. Tony, good to see you. You as well. Thanks, Todd.